Oh, life was very different then. Your children were, when they were old enough, they were, you felt quite comfortable them uh, going over to the school after school hours and playing um, ball hockey. And uh, I could send my two little boys uptown to the grocery store to get a loaf of bread. I could send them uptown to uh, maybe go in to the dairy bar and uh, bring home maybe a pound of butter. One thing they liked to do was to go uptown to Conley's store, which was on the corner of King and the Main Street. And one day they went up and they had too much money. And so Mrs. Conley phoned and said, I have two little boys here and they've each got a quarter and I know you never send them with a quarter. You'd, it's more a penny or two or a nickel at the most and I thought maybe they were getting into your purse and they didn't realize uh, that you didn't realize that they had been in your purse. Well it turned out they had met their Uncle John and he had given them each a quarter to go and buy candy. Now can you imagine a store calling today because two, two little kitties had too much money to spend. <laughs> But you, you, you know, you felt that they were safe. I wouldn't let one go, but with the two of them, and or they'd go up, and uh, the lady that in later years, the lady uh, that was running the store, um, would have them come in, and she'd make them a Sunday and give them a Sunday, and uh, they thought that was uh, pretty, pretty good. Betty Grimwood was really almost like a second grandmother to them and uh, they could go up there and get some, get a bit of a small Sunday. And uh, Main Street on, on a Sunday afternoon um, was no activity at all. So my late husband said you could roll a bowling ball down the, the center of the street. But, and people, at the time when I first came, people n knew each other. Um, and most of them had grown up here, as my late husband's family had. They were here for generations. Uh, and they knew everybody in town. Uh, but with cars coming in and um, people started to go further, further afield. Uh, but I think that was, and new people coming into town, um, the town has changed and then of course with Shaw coming in which really the town needed something to bring pe uh, people here to be able to live here and stay here. Uh, it, it, uh, it, that's when the town started to really um, started to progress and the boats of course had stopped and the railway, although the railway came down the main or King Street it those tracks were, hadn't been used for a number of years. 